Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3, the exact model is an IdeaPad 3 15 IIL05. The model name is an 81WE. That information can be found inside the BIOS or on the sticker on the bottom of the laptop. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or upgrade the RAM for your laptop. They do come with an iCore 3 processors and sometimes depending on what version you get, you get iCore 5, 7. I made a really short video how you can check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. I will leave that link in the video description in case you want to purchase, you want to watch it out. All right, in this video we're going to open it up and show you how to remove, how to add. We have upgraded this laptop to a 16 gig with no problem. They do have an 8 gig, in, um, they do come with an 8 gig pretty much and we have upgraded to a 16 gig. If yours holds up up to 32 gig, you can put a 32 gig in there with no problem. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. Just remember by upgrading, you're not going to change any configuration or anything like that. You just pretty much plug and play, so don't worry about configuring anything afterwards. All right, once you power it up, you want to flip it upside down and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. You're going to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable for opening cases and covers. All right, so down here, we're gonna start removing all the screws from the bottom case. The front end of the laptop, the front side, these are the short screws, so remove them, keep them in one pile. And then the rest, including the middle one, those are, again, another size, they are the same. So keep those on different piles. So the front ones are the short ones. So I don't want to mix that one with the rest. So go ahead and remove the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Now that we remove all the screws, the long screws and the short screws, what you want to do, you want to grab the laptop, Front and you want to stick the opening tool in this case the guitar pick in between the bottom cover and the palm rest just like that. What you want to do, you just want to twist that. You want to hear those nice big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear those nice click sounds, and you want to work yourself on the side. Don't stick the whole guitar pick, just the tip of it, over one or two millimeter. Work around. Once you did the sides in here, same thing on this side. Stick it right there. Jam it in there, and just. Twist it, twist it, and it should get released. The back corner, by the hinges. Once I did the front, the sides, then you want to grab it up, bring it up, wiggle it around, and bring it up, and it will release the back rail right there. All right. We're going to put that to one side, and down here we can see the whole motherboard. All right, the RAM is right in here. They have an 8 gig, I believe it's soldered on the board. And this one is, let me see how big is this one for a second. It's another 4 gig. So they have a 4 gig soldered on the board and they have a 4 gig game installed. So you can install another 16 gig and it will add up with that 4 gig and it's still going to be a dual channel memory. Some people mostly they always like, you know what, you should disconnect the battery to do this. You don't need to disconnect the battery to do any RAM upgrades or anything like that. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you want to be paranoid, you disconnect it, you have to pull this cable back. And the battery will get disconnected, but it's, it's hard to pull it back. You have to jam your fingers in between them. And it's kind of pain in the ass. The other way easier is to remove the three screws for the battery. And this is again for those people that are really paranoid. And if you think like a, you're flimsy, you're gonna drop the screwdriver over the motherboard, then shoot, sure, remove these three screws, grab the battery, and pull it back, and it will slide the connector and it will disconnect. So put it back in, make sure the slider goes in straight, pinch it in there, and then you wanna align the, the screws and put the screw right, the screw that you remove right on top. To remove the battery, all you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side of the, these two triggers and you want to pull them away from each other. 
and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. And then what you want to do, you want to grab it in 45 degree angle, you want to slide it backward on the, the same way that it's pointing outward. You don't want to pull it up towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break the RAM or the DIM, most probably the DIM. So slide it backward. Now this is a 4 gig DDR4. You can get a 16 gig DDR4 and you can put it in here. Doesn't matter if the your RAM that you purchase has a double-sided chip or RAM chip, which position they are, that makes no difference. All you care about is that the notch on the RAM, I don't know if it's not focusing, the notch on the RAM has to match the notch right on the DIM. So if I put it backward that way around, and the notch is not matching, there's an offset right there, and it's not gonna go through. So what you wanna do is flip it, bring it down in 45 degree angle, inside the connector and simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and that's what you want to do let's say that you got the new battery new ram in there if you have disconnected the battery plug it back in and once you power on you might want to wait 5 to 10 seconds up to 15 seconds for the screen to do a boot up because it takes a the motherboard has to do a mem check it's called a memory check all right once you're done with that the last thing would be to just put the bottom cover on Push the corners, make sure you have those nice big click sounds, trigger sounds, and right after that, you can just put the bottom screws and the short ones in the front and the long ones all around the mid towards the back. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own RAM upgrade for your Lenovo IdeaPad 3 Model 15 IIL05. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws, and I will power on the laptop so you guys can see that it does power on. So let's put, yeah, and if you see any gaps opening, just pinch them together. Don't worry, you wanna hear those click sounds, you're not breaking anything. See, for example, on this side, there's a gap opening. I'll just pinch it really hard, and it will go back to its place. All right, now that, that one is done, let's go ahead and power it on. And I'm going to tap on F2, F1 so I can get to the BIOS. The backlight, there we go. And iCore 3, 10th gen, and 8 gig RAM. And that should cover up today's video.